Hello, Bilish Kavava here with another MTG video, posting new MTG videos every two days. So if you like what you see, if you like what you hear, why not subscribe to the channel? It really helps. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like. I really enjoy talking to the community, I really enjoy the feedback, and hey, if you want to give feedback, just give it back. If you think I suck, just say down in the comment section, you suck, get out of here. You can say that, it's perfectly fine. I just really enjoy making magic videos. I really enjoy the back and forth with the community. I think the MTG community is fantastic. So I enjoy it. I enjoy talking to you guys. I enjoy making these videos. So keep the feedback coming. And let's get into today's video. Today's video is kind of like just a talking video. It's basically just what happened in the uh, store, the local store that I play at during Iconic Masters. So this weekend, there was a lot of Iconic Masters uh, drafts going on. And this is basically just me talking about what I saw, what happened out there. It's perfectly okay if you want to skip this video. There's not going to be much financial insights or something crazy like that. It's just going to be my experience and what I saw down there at the local game store. What I saw was five boxes being opened. I saw five Iconic Masters being opened this weekend during drafts and I guess a guy bought a box just to open he was opening the store it was pretty exciting I'm not gonna lie when master sets hit they're exciting even a bad master set people saying this master set's pretty bad it is pretty bad compared to well modern masters 2017 we're not talking about modern masters 2013 that guy that one is the gold standard that one's the king of the king we're not talking about that one because that one's you know that's in the past the wizards ain't gonna make another magic the gathering set like that but compared to Modern Masters 2017, it's a weak set. I'll freely admit that. I think everyone knows that. But I saw people open five boxes, drafts. I didn't participate in any drafts. I'm more of a constructed format. The only draft I'm looking forward to is Unstable. Uh, I did a video about that before. I'm really looking forward to Unstable. But what I saw down in the shop was five boxes being opened. No one got a mana drain. Now, I don't know if that's just because Mana Drain's on like a, you know, one of those print lists that it's coming out less, because I think Wizards does that sometimes. Sometimes you get like cards, like Fatal Push. It's an uncommon, but you get a few Fatal Pushes compared to the other uncommons. You get so many of the other uncommons, and you'd be lucky to get like two in a box of Aether Revolt. So I'm not sure if Mana Drain is like that, or if it was just a bad batch of cards, bad batch of boxes, but no one got a Mana Drain. Out of all of them, I saw them from the five that I saw being open. No one got Mana Drain. One of them did get a channel, which is by far the worst mythic. Uh, currently sitting at two dollars twenty USD. This is American prices. Sitting at two dollars twenty a mythic, which was channel. I think it was the guy that actually bought the box to open and check out. I think he actually ripped it. He ripped it in front of us all. He was like, "This is my mythic," and he just ripped it in half. Channel is a pretty bad mythic. I can't believe that thing's that mythic in this box. But two dollar twenty mythic is terrible. But I did see a guy get that. No one got Mana Drain. Mana Drain has currently gone down to ninety four dollars. So none of these prices are holding. All these are going down. Mana Drain's down to ninety four. Horizon Canopy's down to forty dollars. So even even since I did that video, I did a video about Iconic Masters and saying that at the perfect price anything's worth it at that time mana drain was still holding like 102 so in the two days since i made that video four days since i made that video uh it's already lost another six dollars uh, a little bit over six dollars more like seven dollars seven dollars fifty or something like that so prices are tanking and they're tanking pretty hard so you're not going to get your money back in a draft usually these drafts are more expensive it's expensive to draft this set and usually you draft it and you might get your money back because you might get a few chase cards there ain't that many chase cards in this everything's pretty going down even avison our our angel of hope uh has gone down to like 15 dollars so everything's tumbling it's to be expected this is what happens when you get a reprint first couple of days everything goes everything starts tanking first couple of months it tanks and then usually the three months it starts to creep up again after three months Unless they hit it again with another reprint. If they hit Mana Drain again with another reprint, which I don't think they're going to do, but if they did, then it's like, then it starts to tank hard. What can I say? It, it was fun. I saw some people 
draft in it. They say that the draft format is okay. No one's going crazy about this. That's to be expected. It's a fun time. But, yeah, I don't know if... I'm interested to see if anyone else has saw boxes of Iconic Masters being open, if they did get a Mana Drain, if Mana Drain's put on, like, this... Unlike, like, kind of like this super uh, mythic kind of print run, then the price might go up like pretty quickly. I'm not sure. I saw five boxes, no one opened one, but that might have just been bad luck of the boxes. I did see a channel being opened, so who knows. But that's pretty much it. Just a quick video, just telling what I saw down at the local store. A lot of these boxes. Once again, I want to repeat this for anyone who's thinking about, oh my god, I gotta buy these boxes. There's a lot of these boxes. I saw the store owner, the store owner has like 30 of these boxes. He sold, he sold like five. He's still sitting on like at least 20, 23, 24 boxes still, easily. So, plenty of these boxes to go around. Don't overpay for these boxes. At the 170, 160 mark, 180, you're looking okay. Anything 200 and over, back away. It's not worth it. There's a lot of these boxes. That's pretty much it. And it's quick, simple video. Nothing that exciting, just went down to the local game store, saw some boxes being open, didn't see a mana drain being pulled, didn't see any foil mythics being pulled, saw a channel be ripped in half, which was pretty entertaining, just seeing a guy just open a box and just rip out the mythic and just throw it across the room in pieces. Pretty interesting, but that's about it. So, post down in the comment sections, what do you think about Arconic Masters, what do you think's going on? Are you enjoying the draft format? Are you going to draft this set? Are you going to skip this set? Are you buying boxes? Tell me down in the comment sections. Once again, any feedback's welcome. Any comments are welcome. If you like it, if you hate it, if you think this video is terrible. Hell, I'm not competing on the same level as Rudy from Alpha Investments or Talarian from Community College or un Unsleeved Media. I'm not competing on those kinds of level. I'm more of a like a just talking and enjoying what I do. So please, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bilish Kavava, out.